All right, so we got some dates. Um, as of right now, this is kind of the last dead period before the uh, the start of all the craziness of the NFL season. So we got pretty much June is like that last little. It's like you know, it's like that last. Uh, little bit after you know OTAs after mini camps you know the team comes in does some drills probably implements you know like uh what they're going to do with the playbook for the most part I would think and uh probably you know kind of get the rookies out there get an idea of what practice is going to be like kind of get them used to maybe how the team operates the speed or just like wh whatever it is. things like that you know i would imagine that's kind of what they're doing in otas is kind of more so for the younger players kind of get get a somewhat good picture of how training camp's going to be before training camp you know what i mean that's what i feel like and I, i'm i'm not like a <laughs> i'm not like a coach or anything like that you know or but I would just imagine that's what the team does during OTAs and minicamp. That, that, that sort of thing, more or less. What happens next is they the, the teams leave, and uh, we go through a bit of a month with that where they're just uh, kind of on their last vacation before the season starts. And when the season starts, it gets a little crazy because it'll go from, uh, you know, like the end of July, August through January, February, if you're lucky. And the Rams, you know, th that leaves us with a situation where now they're taking a break. There's not going to be a whole lot of news for the most part of what's going to be happening until training camp and we got some dates on when the rams will start the 2022 training camp at uc irvine so let's go ahead and take a look at this and okay it says here we're going to play the opener september 8th against the bills like like y'all know um we will open training camp july 23rd July 23rd will be our first day of NFL training camp. And guys, that's when it gets real. Okay. That's when the season starts. The players come in, the coaches come in, and they start and they have their camp to see who is going to make the final roster, who has applied themselves, who has studied the playbooks studied their assignments, learned their assignments, also kept themselves in good physical condition and have the physical ability to run those plays and run them well. And judging and this camp is kind of a period, it's like a grace period where we try to find the best of the crop, to put it bluntly, to find the, find the People who are going to be able to run the assignments, going to be able to play, and those who are not, or not yet ready. So, it's uh, it's exciting. It's exciting, you know. The Rams have some... There's some interesting questions with some of the new crop of rookies uh, and how they're going to perform. And I'm very excited to see how they're going to do because in my mind I, I feel like we have a really good class a really good draft class of rookies from what I've read it seems like as a whole everyone seems very pleased with how they did the the, the whole group as a collective how they did back in uh, OTAs during minicamp I believe Sean even said that he was uh, very pleased with them so I'm I'm interested to see how they will perform in training camp because it would appear that they are learning faster than maybe Sean anticipated. And if this is true, 
it's very good for us. This this is good if we can get some contra, real contribution out of these rookies this season. That would be that would be amazing. That would be amazing. It would be a success because we lost some people throughout this off season and. We are really going to need our rookies and undrafted players to really step up if we are interested in repeating as world champions and the Rams have indicated that they are. So that is the mission of the 2022 season is to win the Super Bowl again. Will they do it? I don't know. But I think they have a good shot. And if these rookies can catch on, quickly that will that will really help us that's going to really help the team so let's move on here uh the rams could have reported as early as july 18th uh the bills but buffalo bills will be reporting july 18th it would appear that they are filled with piss and vinegar as the saying goes uh due to last year's loss they had a strong team last year and they basically lost um to the chiefs again i think uh and you know um i gotta give it to the bills they were aggressive this past offseason they signed i i really wanted our old old dog saffold to come back but bill scooped him up um they scooped up von miller obviously and they are working on their defense because their defense was a big issue for them in the playoffs and it failed them and uh and, you know, their offense seems good to go. That I think their offense is good enough to win the Super Bowl. Defense needs to get a whole lot better. And I tell you what, man, it's... They, they, they certainly put in the effort. I can say that much. So the Bills are going to be strong. And they're reporting on the first day, July 18th. That's the earliest the teams can, can check in. However, here is a list of all the teams. Um, Got to be honest, couldn't really care less about what dates the other teams go in. I am only interested in our team, the LA Rams. We'll be checking in July 23rd, like I said, 723. It's going to be the first day. And, um, you know, they... Uh, they uh, it, it would appear that the Rams could have reported as early as July 18th like the Bills but they're giving their players a little bit more time to rest up before the grind. Yep. So the Rams obviously as y'all know won the Super Bowl and that is great but it also leaves uh a shorter recovery time for the players and coaches. You know, it's it's um you know, the, the, these are good problems to have. <laughs> you know, they're uh, they're good problems to have. It's not really problems to be complaining about, but it is. It should be pointed out that it is true that these players get less recovery, less rest, and the coaches get less of a time to get away um, because they played the longest. And now, pretty soon, they're going to have to start. They're, they're going to have to start from scratch and start the season again, and. That can be difficult. That can be difficult. And I think it is a good idea. And I agree with the Rams decision to kind of push that starting uh, date back for them until uh, July 23rd, you know, as opposed to the 18th, you know, take an extra week off. Uh, why not? Because y'all played like in, but basically they played like an extra week or two, uh, more than well for for some of the teams and in at least two weeks they played at least two weeks more than uh pretty much any other team in the nfl and you know punching it pushing it back a week give you that extra rest time and uh give give some some time for those players to recover I know we got a few players kind of nursing some injuries, so give them a little little extra rest time before training camp. 
is wise, I believe. And I do agree with the decision. So that's uh that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. July 23rd, y'all. So mark your calendars, get ready for some Rams news after that, because there is some intriguing battles. And uh, I'm interested to see how a few of these rookies perform. I am interested to see year two of Matthew Stafford and uh, how well he can do in the second year of learning this offense. I have big hopes for him. Uh, he is nursing a bit of an elbow injury. That's something to keep an eye on. So inter interested to see. Well, no, no, no. Not, I shouldn't. Okay. I shouldn't say injury. He got himself like uh i think it was like a cortisone shot because his elbow like was swollen it had some dealings with swelling back in the playoffs so hopefully that helped but we'll see we'll see how it goes so a lot of storylines and a lot of uh a lot of a lot of excitement in the air and a lot of a lot of news to come so i will go ahead and catch you guys on the next one and as always go rams